This is a quick video of a short adventure Kathy and I took on the Cleghorn Ridge off-road trail. It's just north of the Inland Empire here, I-15 north and a quick exit. This is the Cleghorn OHV trail. So we're going to take a ride up here and see what there is to see. Should be a relatively easy trail with a beautiful lake at the end. It might help if I turned the GoPro My eyes are squinting. I'm closer to the sun. Here, pen that they've put in the road here. We could have gone up and over that bypass, which didn't look that horrible. But I really like this. I don't know if I caught this last time, but you, every now and then when you switch back out, you see the urban bottom of the valley, and that is amazing. Like you can just see forever, except for that haze in the distance. Oh, look at that. Kathy just caught, uh, as I come around here, that's the lake we've been headed toward. So we can just glimpse it. I think that's the lake we'll know here shortly. This is what uh, John at work told me. Why he recommended? Yeah, there you go. That's a couple of alpine lakes here. It's quite beautiful. Like it's been burned or something. It has a red fence around it. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure what that black area is. Kathy and I kept being fascinated by this patch of ground that was black with a like a red stained border. Still not really sure what it was. It looked like maybe it was a burn area and the red area was some kind of fire retardant that kept it contained. In any event, as we drove away, we saw it up close and we're still none the wiser as to what it was.
try and do as much as I can with a GoPro as I go down the descent here. Looks pretty straight and you can see the lake in front of us. There you go. <laughs> and you'll be able to get a really great shot. Out okay, here two hands. Two hands, but do it out the window. You got a beautiful shot there as you go down there. Not me, two hands, you, two <laughs> hands. <laughs> So over there is that, that's that black and red patch. I have no idea what that is. I'm very curious. You can kind of see across the plateau. You see some industry over there. Definitely see some hazy air up okay, there. Well, the GoPro's battery is dead, but the Kodak does take better pictures. Just not as good with a stability algorithm and the microphone isn't on it. But this is the lake at the end of the trail. Quite beautiful. We're not quite down to the lake. We've got a little ways left to drive, but I thought I'd get a quick shot. And you can kind of see the dam at the end of the reservoir. Our battery died right at the end of the trail. So this is where the Cleghorn Trail comes out, right above what I believe is called Silverwood Lake. So that trail is an off-highway vehicle trail in the San Bernardino National Forest. And we entered right off Interstate 15, and we exited here at Silverhorn Lake. Not sure what this highway is, like it says Route 24. Not sure, 138, San Bernardino 138. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Is that what it is, San Bernardino 138? Yeah. So we're gonna look for a place to eat lunch and then uh, probably just take the asphalt home. So we drove all of about 500 feet to something called Vista Point. Perfect place to eat and maybe take a little walk. And look at stuff. Oh, look at stuff. All right. Silverwood Lake is the reservoir. So we brought stuff to go for a little hike, but it ended up taking kind of a fun couple hours to drive. I think it's the Cleghorn Trail up over the mountains and then down onto this side. Here you get on asphalt, so I think we're just going to take the asphalt back to uh, Ontario and just take our usual neighborhood walk. But I did finally... Uh, haven't really messed with the trailer and the camping gear since Montana. So we did finally go in the garage before we left and lift the rooftop tent up and kind of dig some stuff out. Took out the canteens, took out my <coughs> little uh, hydration backpack thing that the guys gave me as a going away present from the church. So there's Silverwood Lake Reservoir. Quite pretty. And that was a, a, an interesting trail. There were enough optional uh, obstacles that if you wanted to challenge your vehicle a little bit, you could have a lot of fun there. We, of course, skipped all of them. We weren't here to mess around, but uh, I could definitely see going back. Actually, I actually heard some clunking, too. I think about it. I'm going to take the GoPro and try to look, make sure my uh, sway bar links are not working loose. I've had that happen before. I always forget to check those. Now, just incredibly beautiful scenery. This is our first time really overlanding any of the beautiful areas of California. Again, a friend at work suggested, he said, oh, you got to do this Cleghorn Trail. It's right off Interstate 15 and uh, through the National Forest. And boy, what a great suggestion that was because super easy to get to with no traffic. Like, uh, just, you know, Sunday morning, we left late Sunday morning. It was a 30-minute drive. It'll be closer to an hour back because now everyone's coming back on Sunday afternoon. This was an example of where we can avoid the brutal Southern California traffic and still have fun. So, would have been even better with Sparky. Sparky with that uh, 4xe hybrid dive chain. Drivetrain does really well in these kind of trails. 
uh, especially coming down the Hummer, you just keep it four low with drop a gear or so, and that way it manages the ups and downs without the engine working so hard. Quick inspection here. Let's see. No play in that one. Let's see if this link has any play in it. Well, I don't see any play. So whatever the clunking was, maybe it was in the shocks. I'll we'll figure it out eventually. Hopefully it's not anything critical. I'll we'll have to check the back ones as well. Can almost see them from here. side. Nope. Plenty tight. So, not sure what's clunking. Well, if there is something clunking, it's only at pretty extreme articulation, and I haven't had any issues or found root cause yet. We had a reasonably easy drive home. On a Sunday afternoon, I-15 does get pretty congested coming back into Ontario. But that was a lot of fun for our first California trip.